Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In our today's episode, we are going to talk about one of the most interesting topic, how can we connect the VS Code environment to our SAP S4 HANA system for Fiori app development. As you all aware that VS Code is becoming increasingly popular development environment for building Fiori apps. With an announcement of deprecation of Web IDE tool permanently and also to save the cost of adopting the BAS tool, most companies now adopting VS Code tool, which is free for a lifetime and help you to build and provide a similar experience like BAS to make Fiori applications for your company. In today's episode, I will show you how do you connect your VS Code environment to your company system, be it ECC or S4 HANA for Fiori app development. So, before we get started, please like, share and subscribe this video with your fellow colleagues if you feel this video is helpful for them so that they can also utilize the knowledge gained in this video to connect their company S4 HANA system. Having said that, let's get started. So, first of all, I will switch over to my VS Code tool. And we will talk about the prerequisites required to build a Fury app in VS Code. You have to first go to extensions and search here Fury extension pack. You need to install the Fury extension pack as part of your VS Code environment, which is free. This is the first prerequisite. And even before installing it, please make sure that you have installed the Node.js in your computer because the extension pack also depends on Node.js. So please install the Node.js first. The recommended Node.js version is 18 and then install the Fury extension pack as part of your VS Code environment, which is free. The third step is press F1 key on the keyboard and search here for SAP system view. When you search, you will find this SAP Fury focus on system view click on that and now you can see there is a option which is open called sap system we click on plus button to start adding our sap system for the connectivity so now we need to add our sap system you can add your cloud system for btp or you can use the abap system which is an on premise system be it ecc or s4 hana or bw any of the systems you can add let me give the name as S4 HANA because I have my company S4 HANA system which I will be adding to the system. The next information which it requires is of course the URL of the system and the host name. So this information you can find by logging in to your company S4 HANA system and go to transaction code SMICM system maintenance internet communication manager that's a full form smicm and then you can click the button called services where you can find the host name and the port number you can see both for http and https type of connections the recommended for me in this case is http so i will take the host name i will control y and copy that and port is 8030 so I'll come back and put here HTTP as a reference point. My host name is for hfund.st.com. That's my company as uh, for a fully qualified domain name with 8030. If you are using your company network and your SAP system is secured by company intranet with a firewall, please make sure that you're connected to VPN to achieve this connection successfully. I will enter the client. It is recommended to use a small letter. So s 4 hfundstcom That's my company address with the port number. Client is 800. I will enter my user ID and password for my above system. And we can just test the connection first. It is successfully connected. You can see and I save. Fantastic. So the system is now ready and it's saved also. So the next step is to build a Fiori app, which is fairly simple. Press F1 and say open Fiori 
application generator so fury open application generator and now you can use the normal process of generating your fury elements application using templates so i'll build one really quick to just cross check if our connection is fully working or not so i'm going to come down and i will create a list report fury application i will choose now the system and you can see the entry here s4 hana with my user id i will select that and it's contacting the s4 hana to fetch all the list of services so wow look at that so it has got me all the list of services available in the system and i will use one of the service like let's say product service to connect to my s4 hana system this is a inbuilt service uh, which is uh, which is present in my system and i click on next I will choose my entity set, what I want to show to the user. So perhaps I will go with again the product entity only, along with the navigation to the orders data for a given product. So let me choose orders association, click on next, give my project name um, test connection S4, then give a namespace com dot unabout trainings and we are good let's finish so that's it the application is now generating so behind the scene it takes care of all the metadata being fetched and create all the all the components of the application the fury element application with annotation and as a result also it uh, fetches the annotations from the back end if there are any and it makes sure that the fury app is generated with the with the UI5 tooling so that you can proceed further and build the application. So now you need to basically go and click the button right on the top left corner to basically open the application which is generated. You can also notice at the bottom it is still installing all the node dependencies. The UI5 tooling requires to do the connection like the middleware for Fury Tool Proxy. Everything it is it is fetching in. It is relatively faster as compared to the past uh, That's my personal experience. And maybe I'll switch over back to just open my application, which it is generating, or maybe just wait for a few seconds until the application generates. So now you can see the application is generated. I've got my application created and we can just press F1 again to open application info. So open application info, and that would then open a beautiful application info page for this Fury app, where we will be able to um, view the details of this application and basically do multiple things like launching the application, uh, creating the deployment configuration, all those sorts of stuff will be will be visible so i'll i'll open that it's opening up you can see and now we can preview our fury app really quick so let's click on that start it begins starts the uff tooling is basically the npm run command and eventually it will open also a browser session for me so let's just wait for a few more seconds until it starts it establish a connection to my system and in few seconds you will see the application will be launch and a few moments later there you go i've got my application that's my fury app with all the product details rating indicator and stuff like that i've got create button copy button delete button all the features which are intended to be part of the system of gotcha i can drill down i've got my object page displaying the sales order details and reviews for the product so this complete data is now ready you can see so that is how we can generate our fury application which will display automatically all the data to us and display all the information so this is fully working on my local host as you can see and uh, it's powered by the ui5 tooling so that is it for the day all right thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anubotrainings.com 
For in more interesting videos like this, please like, share and subscribe this channel. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future. Please do share this channel in the WhatsApp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anubhavtrainings.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Anubhav signing out. Have a nice day and goodbye.